Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Well, let's get to this Lena Make You Mark. I'm going to go through different polishes and different scrapers and different stampers that you can use to use this negative space. Here we go. I have just regular polish right now. All um, simple, co simple colors. What is it? Easy going. Oh, wet and wild. I don't know. Who is ultraviolet and another sinful colors? Say la vie, pale blue. Um, I'm thinking that I I mean I don't know why this regular polish won't work. Um, stamping polish would probably be better. I am using stamping polish on this, so I'm gonna first of all one finger at least. I want to put this I love you. The words I love stamping with words um, and then I probably get to do some hearts and then I also have my um, Queen stamping polish to pick up um, the words so I'm going to put the polish on the plate first I mean I put kind of a lot I guess you can see what I'm putting a daub um, you can put it across the plate, or you could put it on the edge. I don't know why. I just put it on the edge. Just like you do any other, like, you know, like I do with stamps. You know, I just put it along the edge and then scrape it across. Sometimes I load it up, but, all right. Super stiff card, and um, creative stamps shop stamper. I'm going to pick up the words first and then I'm going to scrape the almost flat so that you're not rubbing against it and pick that up. And then let's put it on my nail. it works. And there you go. Okay. Um, I had a little bit of white shine through there, but that's okay. Looks really cute. All right. Let's see if now I'm not guaranteeing. I'm not screwing up this Manny, you know. So I'm. I may just switch over and like, if I'm unsure, put it on my lint roller because I don't want to mess up my mani. Um, then I think I'm going to use these hearts. And that might be tricky because that's right underneath the image. We'll see. Um, I'm going to try the um, more flexible card this time. Um, once again, I'm putting the regular polish on first. Now, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, it, you can tell it's a little um, patchy, the color is. That's why I put white on first so that I wouldn't really have to worry about it. And I mean, you could totally, like, paint them pink or whatever your, you know, lightest, maybe, um, gradient color that you're using um, as your base. The stamping polish would make it op more opaque. And I may do that on my other hand. Okay, so I'm going to put the regular polish that I'm using on first since, um, and I think I'll mix it up, since it doesn't dry as fast as the stamping polish. And you're really not going to need to worry too much about your stamping polish being dry on your stamper head. Um, oh, I know. I know what else we could try. Um, and I've also got this Born Pretty Galaxy Stamper that we'll try and a clear jelly dome stamper, which I do not think will work, but we're, we'll, we'll try it. We'll, we will try it. I also have this one that's not quite as dumb. I also don't really don't think that would work at all because... I mean, because of the dome shape of the stamper head, 
is, and, and that's why this one I'm sure won't work because it's, it's really stiff and it's really domed. And I think that would sink in. I'm talking and my polish is sitting here drying. Um, that dome I think would, you know, go into the stamper too much. Does that make sense? Okay, almost a flat scrape. Okay, see, do you see what that what it's doing? And that's what happens when you use. If I stiffen it up, I can now see I I rubbed it, and that's what happens with the softer. All right, now it's dry. So let's get rid of that. And I was yapping instead of scraping. So I'm going to give that one another try, another attempt, and this should be fine because, like I said, um, you're going to put it back on wet polish, and I think that that will be okay. We'll see. I'm going to be really upset if it's not okay. I'm going to mix it up again and because I wanted, like, I think pink in the middle this time. at the top and then blue at the bottom and I'm going to try it again with the, the super soft one. Once again you, you kind of have to get it flat and it's just hard to do with it, you just really need a stiffer. Alright, there it is. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to like that. Let's stick it over here. <laughs> We'll stick it on Cindy. Yeah, that worked fine. Okay, so I like this better. Now let's let's try this. I'm I'm not gonna pick up a second stamp because I really just don't think and plus the, the texture of it I think is gonna be another um downfall of the dome, this clear silicone. Um, and here I have a, a Queen scraper that is super, this came in the, that kit I got at Walmart, that Walmart now has stamping kit. Um, and I got this polish too. So, hmm, picked up, but it also left more on the plate. Um, let's see. Yeah, looks pretty good. So it would work. I don't like it. And I'm thinking it, it would work though. Okay. Um, so maybe this would work. Um, and I wanted to point out that there is a slight defect you can see on my plate right here it's like a little bubble when it was pressed um, whatever this is and then there's a scrape a scratch too can you see the scratch yeah there a little bubble and a scratch and I as soon as I opened up my plate and I took off the plastic and I saw it I messaged Lena and let her know and she was the sweetest oh I am so sorry I'm so sorry I will replace it if it doesn't work and I said well just hold off I just wanted to show you before I tried I said it may you know when I clean it maybe and the first like scrape I did I thought oh no it's I can see it it's keeping me from scraping polish across there um and then the second one, second pass, it wasn't as noticeable. And by the time I cleaned it like three times, um, you totally couldn't tell it. It wasn't there. You know, it didn't affect, it didn't affect anything. So I just wanted to say that because she was just so nice and helpful and immediate with the response. You know, I understand stuff like that happens. Ah, poop. Ah, oh, no. 
Okay, see that slid when I tried to, it just slid. I didn't have my, um, I didn't have my hearts ready. All right. Okay, let's just get this uh, repetition sped up and moved along, okay? Um, so, essentially, you need a stiff scraper to get that blended out onto the negative space. These clear jelly stampers um, will work, but they slide. When you try to pick it up, it slides across of it and won't really pick up a nice image. They might do better with maybe just stamping polish and I would recommend not trying to roll with it just to you know bump bump up down. Same with if you use Big Blue. I think Big Blue would work but you can't. You're not going to be able to roll it. Um, also if you're going to do the double stamping um, it was I found it easier to use my my favorite scraper right now is um, my clear jelly stamper scraper and to pick up the other images I would rather use that instead of a stiff one um, I don't really have any issues anymore with I've done enough with any scraper or any stamper I can do pick up pretty much any image um, so do what works best for you just kinda work through them methodically to figure out what um, is gonna work for you okay they will work it takes a little practice and it's fun. I also wanted to say thanks to everybody that has been subscribing to me and commenting. Um, I always comment back if you have any questions, any way I can help you. I would love to help you. Just leave me a comment, okay? And please go check out. I'm going to leave the link to um, my top secret mani cave so you can check out my setup and how I do this and, um, you know, my all my plates and my polishes. And we've had I've had a whole bunch of girls um hashtag show me i was gonna say show me your money maker but that i think was gonna get us all kinds of creepies so <laughs> hashtag um what was it show me your setup show me show me your your mani cave and uh go look at all the other girls we have um you know from super simple to oh my gosh i want your mani cave that setup's awesome <laughs> okay so, thanks for joining me. Here's the finished Manny, and I included a couple micro shots. And I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask questions. Okay, bye.